Alright, so we're solving problem 55 of chapter 4. Here is the picture given for this problem in the book. And here's what a free body diagram will look like for this problem. So here's our first question that we will be answering. What is the resultant force exerted by the two cables supporting the traffic light? Alright, and first we need to separate our forces into their X and Y components. First you draw a chart. And the second force is going to be at 135 degrees and not 45 degrees because it is in the second quadrant, 45 degrees to the left of 90 degrees. 90 degrees plus 45 degrees, 135 degrees. So if you have this as your x-axis, and this is zero, that's going to be 45, and then that's going to be 135, that's 180. Alright, to solve for the x component, you are going to use the equation force times the cosine of the degrees. So, for the x component of our first, we have... Is it 60 cosine? Yes, it's 60 cosine 45 which is equal to 42.4. And then for the y component, you will repeat the process, but instead of using cosine, you will use sine. Which is also equal to 42.4. Alright, and then we will repeat the process for the second vector, in which case it will be x equals 60 cosine 135. That will give us negative 42.4. Correct. And then for the, the y. y, you have 60 times the cosine or the sine. Yes, 60 times the sine of 135. 135. And that is equal to 42.4 once again. So, now we Take our totals for the x and y component columns. For so x, for the total two would be, would be zero. Mm -hmm. And then for these two, it would be 
84.8.8, yes. And to solve for the resultant, you use Pythagorean theorem with these numbers. So first, the equation is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so as you can see, a would be this. Or no, I'm sorry. A would be the force in the x direction. Yep. Um, B would be the force in the y direction. Mm -hmm. And C would be the hypotenuse of this triangle. So and our triangle's a little different, so we're going to have to use this. And so in the place of C, we put R for resultant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then our A squared will be zero, so it really doesn't zero. affect our total. And b squared will be 84.8 squared. But our resultant is also squared. So our resultant is the square root of 84.8 squared, which is 84.8. <laughs> yes. So our resultant is equal to 84.8 newtons. Now, now we're we going to fix the camera and yes. show that to you. Okay. <laughs> but we're not done. Uh, now we have to <laughs> yes. Now we have to solve for the weight of the stoplight. The stoplight isn't moving, so we can assume it's at equilibrium. This means that the weight, which is equal to the gravitational force affecting the stoplight is equal and opposite to the net force, which we just saw for in part A, 84.8 newtons. So, so Fg equals negative Fn, so force gravity is equal to negative net force. Using Newton's third law, which is action-reaction. Mm -hmm. And equals negative 84.8. Which is equal the to weight. the weight. Yes. So, so the weight of the stoplight is equal to near 84.8 newtons or 84.8. Yes. Yay! All right. Hope you learned something. <laughs>